Okay, in August 2012, Apple released uh, new versions of its uh, glossaries in a number of languages, and you can find them at developer.apple.com. So here I'm clicking on resources, and under OS X, I can click on the downloads link. I have to register as a developer, and uh, I've done that so I can sign in to my account. And here I have uh, the download area and I can search for glossaries and I can see a number of uh, uh, language files here and the one that I'm interested in, in is this one, the French glossaries, which is uh, uh, about 4 megabyte. So I have downloaded uh, that um, file already, it's a file with a DMG extension and uh, the easiest way to extract the content of this file is to do it on a Mac. And uh, I've done this already since I'm on a PC here. And in this folder, FRFR, I have a lot of files, about 500. And each of these files contains terminology related to one particular area of uh, OS X. So, for instance, if I open uh, this file, Activity Monitor, it will look like this. Uh, it's a bit messy, uh, it's an XML file, but fortunately the best way to use these uh, glossary files is uh, to use the new version of AppSeq Xbench 3.0, which I have installed here. So I'm starting Xbench now. And in Xbench, I will create a new project. I will add Mac OS X Glossary next. I will add the folder that I just showed you, which is here. And uh, next, and here next, and OK. And OK. And now Xbench is importing all items in these 500 files. So that takes a few seconds. And now it's ready. So I have in total, I had uh, 118,000. And now I can search them like in any expense project. So if I search for dictation, I will have all strings in which uh, dictation uh, is to be found. So for instance, uh, about dictation and privacy, à propos de dicté vocal et de confidentialité, and so on. So that's one way to search easily these uh, glossaries. But another possibility is to export uh, the content of this project to a TMX uh, uh, memory. And this is what we will do next. So I can select Tools and uh, Export Items. And here I have a format TMX. I will select as the source language US English and as the target language French, like this. And I will save this uh, TMX here. I will call it uh, Apple Glossaries ENFR and save. And now OK. And Expansion is exporting the content and removing uh, duplicates. So I should in fact have uh, much less than here uh, where I have uh, 118,000 entries. So now I can move to, let's say, WordFast Classic, and I will select this uh, new TM. So it's on my desktop here, and I have Apple Glossaries, and this is all files, and here I can find my TMX, so I can open it, and WordFast will import its content. OK, it's ready. And I have now only 68,000 entries. And this is because Xbench uh, removed duplicates when exporting to TMX. So I can have a quick look at the content of this uh, TM here in the data editor. The first part is uh, actually Japanese characters. So I will quickly move downwards here. And here I start to have meaningful entries, so allow guests to log in to this computer, autoriser les invités à se connecter à cet ordinateur, and so on. So I have uh, now the content of all 500 uh, glossaries in, from English to French 
in a nice TMX that I can use, of course, in WordFast or in any uh, CAD tool that supports the TMX format. So that was how to convert uh, Apple Groceries to the TMX uh, format. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.